I always wanted to go back to Boone County. This is this part of America that everyone tries to hide. They take advantage of, they rip off. This is coal country. It's fascinating, the people are incredibly interesting. They're charismatic, they're poetic. I love the White family. It's incredible how much drama happened in this family's life in just the one year span, a year and a half. I'm losing my mother. I am hurting. Really, in my heart, I'm hurt. After my dad died, yeah, I got on the hard stuff. I was doing it all, coke, pills, whatever to get my hands on, pretty much. When my baby gets older, I'd like for her life to go in a totally different direction than what mom went. There is a whole lot of sadness in their life and a whole lot of sadness they kind of bring into their life. And I don't know if that's ever really dealt with and it just kind of keeps getting passed down. There's a part in me that was, you know, says, well, he gets out of prison, I've got to kill this boy. The devil knocks real hard on their shoulders. Yeah. Yeah. My life, our lives has just been a party. And we're just living like as a story that we're already dead, but we're still alive too to get to tell about. This isn't like celebrating their rock and roll lifestyle. It's sort of fly on the wall, you know? I mean, ultimately, they, they just do what they do. I mean, they tell us, I don't give a fuck about that camera. They're not performing for the camera. They do what they do, and they do it whether we're there or not. Their criminality is something they're proud of. I just now bought 10 goddamn green beans, what's called pain killers, okay? Fuck that camera. They all want to be drug free. I think that they, they for about 24 yeah, hours well, they, I think they say that sometimes, but I don't know how much. Uh, when you carry around a cooler full of prescription pills this deep, well, see, I, I don't... That, that's the ticket because you'll hear it over and over. It's what's prescribed to them. There is consequences to, you know, living like that, and you'll see it in the movie. I'll just run up on the traffic and they can just kill me. No, don't do that, Kurt. <laughs> Most of the people that I've dealt with concerning the whites, it's, it's this real dichotomy of love and hate, and a lot of the people don't care for the whites, and they think it's about representation of, of West Virginia. And there's another part that says, this is our community, how can you ignore the plight and the struggles of people like this? I get a goddamn check from the governor saying that I am fucking certified crazy. Why are you crazy? Because I want to be. You put them in this community with no opportunities except being a coal miner, and they're, they're too smart to be a coal mine. They're like, fuck that. Jesco says, there's two ways to live life. The church going people, they have hell on earth now and they have heaven after. And those are the coal miners are going deep into the bowels of hell every night. And he's like, I'm gonna have my heaven now and my hell after. That man knows I'm crazy, but it keeps me going insane. Thank you, thank you very much. Ultimately, I think you're going to get an understanding, uh, uh, a cultural look at how they uh, sort of come to be what they are. I just say, watch it, and um, you know, and be see some amazing people who are you know from a part of America that people don't normally get to see.